Good morning, everybody. My name is Jeremiah Craig coming at you for Coffee and Music number 408. Cheers to you. Happy, happy Monday, everybody. Mm, I'm all decked out in the Boots and Ballads stuff today, I guess. Boots and Ballads mug, hat, shirt. <laughs> I'm a walking mascot for myself today. <laughs> oh, if you like any of this stuff, though, you can definitely get some for yourself at jeremiahcraig.com slash store or down in the, down in the description there. <laughs> So I, I think I decided which song I want to release and record this month for Spotify, and it's one that I wrote, I don't know, like in October or November or something. Oh man, rubbing, my, rub, rubbing the sleep out of my eyes still. I need another sip of coffee. Yo, how's it going, Spencer? Can't complain. So far, my day is spectacular. How about you? Although it just started. So, it's still, it's, it's not even 7.30 in the morning here yet. So we got everywhere to go today. Looking forward to it. New week, new day. Epic. All right, so this song is called From the Lake on Our Inflatable Sofa. And this is the one that I think I'm going to be releasing to Spotify and elsewhere so I mapped it all out last night in my recording software and I'll probably do a little bit of recording today so I figured I'd run through it this morning too so here it goes this is a this is an apocalypse song <laughs> I barely made it home Everyone has lost control Thanks to the earthquake And the mysterious plague But I believe it was a sign When I found what the looters left behind Relax my love We will soon be safe so let's use all the air in our chests And simply float away from this mess Yes, let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa And watch the world end I got some beer and trail mix to hold us over Till it's safe to start again Darling, don't shed a tear, the apocalypse is here, but we can still grow older. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Sure, we can see the world's at war just by how beautiful the sky is tonight. The ash and clouds above our heads reflects a yellow and a blood red from the cities on fire, but out of sight. So if it's going to be this way, let's try to win And find a good spot to throw the anchor in Yes, let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa And watch the world end I brought my fishing pole and a propane stove The bass don't know what's coming for them 
Darling, don't shed a tear, the apocalypse is here, but we can still grow older. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Apocalypse song there for you. A little lighthearted. <laughs> Yo, good morning, sweet Marie. I'm happy to be here for your restlessness. Good morning, Sam. How's it going? All right, Spencer. Day is good so far. LSU Tigers win tonight. Good luck. Good luck. Yes. Championship season is upon us in so many different sports. It's exciting. The Cowboys are out. Yeah, my Bills, they got out the first round. So sad. So sad. But we made the playoffs. We're looking good. Next year. Mm, yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Cowboys and Texas, let me see how I can reach around this <laughs> mic stand. I got a little bit of news that I found that I want to share with everybody. This is an article that I found on the San Antonio website. Apparently they cleaned out they cleaned out the uh, San Antonio River and they found a bunch of crap. They, they apparently there was all these invasive Amazonian snails in the San Antonio River, you know like along the river walk. I've been through there. It's really pretty, but I could imagine how just a whole bunch of shit would get lost in that river. And apparently, these Amazonian snails here, like you can see that this guy is holding, they're, they're really big, and they can just throw the biology and the ecosystem of that river completely off. You can buy these at pet stores and things. This is something that people have in like their aquariums, in their houses and stuff. So they just you know, cleaned out the river. As you can see down here, people are in some of the intake or the drainage from the river along the river walk where they sort of made it into a canal area it's like picking out the snails and the random garbage that's down there here's here's another dude with a bag of amazonian snails <laughs> here's all the junk that they found like skateboards uh, a hat a cone and apparently they found a bunch of like cowboy boots too just in the river and then they put it all in the sun to dry but uh all of the things that they lost, the article says that uh, they weren't able to actually give it back. So this guy right here, Chief Communications Officer for the City Traffic and Capital Improvements Department. Wow, that's a long title. His name is Paul Barry. He says, we did not find anything that could be identified as belonging to an individual that we could return. So all this stuff is just going to a, a landfill. But... Uh, it says that they've also refilled it with water from one of the reservoirs that they have on hand. So it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty gross. But they got it cleaned out, and I'm happy to see. It. I thought that was a little funny story that I wanted to share this morning. <laughs> Josh Allen has a cannon attached to his right shoulder. It's so true. It's so true. He just needs to get a little bit more accurate with that cannon. I've got I got a good feeling about him in the future. I think the Bills are going to take over the AFC East, dethrone the Patriots. It's about time too. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm sick, sick of this Patriots dynasty. And then you hear in the news about them cheating, like every year it's something else. It's like. Really, guys? Somebody needs to beat them. And the Bills are here to do it. I'm telling you that right now. Watch out. 2020. Bills. Let's go. All right, so my next show with the Rusty Crowbars is coming up this Friday. We're playing at McGann's in Boston. Let me see if I have the... Oh, I do have it set up. My next show. Bam. There it is. Next show on the uh, January 17th at McGann's in Boston. 
So it's going to be a fun show. Tonight, we're actually going to go to an open mic night. And we're going to play a couple songs. So I want to play this one. This is one that we're going to play. I probably should change my strings beforehand because I have a feeling that this string is going to break. This is a nice, happy song to start out the week with. It's called Viaduct. It's about feeling like you're on top of the world. Which I'm sure, Spencer, you're going to feel like you're on top of the world if the LSU Tigers win tonight, right? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dang snails wanted to travel. <laughs> you, just stop root you just stop rooting those snails from their vacation. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, here's a little bit of viaduct. suitcase on the viaduct and Miss Pross said she'd sew a new handle on I met Ramona in the waiting room and we decided to get lost in the gamelon yes she took me up to the attic now to tell me more about how she was feeling and we laughed when I lost my shirt and my foot fell through the ceiling, through the ceiling now. And I wave, wave, wave from above. And I'll wave, wave, wave. Ask you love and I'll wave, wave, wave from above on the viaduct, yeah. Now I saw Baloo shaking them trees as I was crossing over the interstate. He was done reaching at that prickly pace, finally trying to put on a little winter's weight. Yes, he told me to come stand upon his shoulders, cause the ones at the top are the sweetest, and I know first
that duck for you. Woo! Oh, man, that song makes me feel so good. I hope that song makes you feel good. Woo! Swab the Dolphins and the Colts. Oh, man. NFL should realign the divisions. Dolphins should be in the AFC South. Yeah, but Dolphins and Bills have, like, rivalries. So these divisions have been together for so long. I don't know about that. Because I couldn't imagine not playing the Dolphins twice a year just because that's the way it's always been done and I always look forward to squishing the fish. That's what we say. That's what the Bills say. Squish the fish. So, I mean, even though Dolphins aren't really a fish, (laughs) leave it to Buffalo. (laughs) All right, everybody. I got to hit the road. I got stuff to do. I hope you have a spectacular day. And let's get out there. Kick ass, take names. Cheers, everybody. Let's get out there. Peace. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.